much about robbing caravans? Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. <sighs> All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. What were you saying? People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, and putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Bell. Nils. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any made? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils. Okay. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. Whew. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Beecher's Hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, hadn't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. Oh! Everyone find some cover! We hit the Keep your head down! Where'd they come from? It's the skinner! You okay? What's up? I don't like this. 
one bit. Devin, you okay? Yes. Got the last of them? I think so. There's more! They got the tools! They grabbed Mr. Wayne! All right, you stay here, guard the wagon. Charles, come on! They got me! Come on, Mr. Devin! Over here! I see you! Help me! Let's go! No time to stop! Mr. Devin! Mr. Smith! I do have to go! I found the tools. Now, where's Mr. All right. Shit. Jesus. We gotta move fast. Come on. Minutes ago, he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was getting into. Did he? Skinner's. Everyone knows. Except me. Later, John. Mr. Wayne didn't make it. Here, Lord, no. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me. All right, 
Let's get out of here. Back to beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. But they're here for now. I thought this this kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. Good reason and bad, but rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No, not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. There was a caravan a few months back. Massacred. Men, women, children. Ended up like Wayne. Or worse. Uncle! Uncle! Oh, oh. Uncle! I was... You useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. A lot of them? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devin back to town. I'm gonna pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure, if you say so. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Why you use what you've got? which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says, the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to dig a six-foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? He'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. Ah! 
Thank you.